I'm back with uh, January 6th wife uh, Sarah McCabe, an advocate for January 6th political prisoners, the wife of Ronald Colton McCabe. Uh, Sarah, um, you wrote a letter, kind of an open letter, uh, dated September 6th, in which you talk about a kind of a disturbing incident involving your husband in uh, the prison, uh, which seems just so, to me, so arbitrary and so ridiculous. But I want people to understand that this is the kind of thing that is happening to him, but it's also probably happening in other ways to other people. So let's go through this incident slowly and, and spell it out so people understand what exactly happened to your husband in prison. Yes. This incident happened um, on Labor Day, September the 5th at around, um, I'm in, in central time, so 10.30 my time, 11.30 central, or sorry, Eastern time. Uh, my phone started to blow up and I was like, what's going on? And I was informed that my husband was assaulted by Lieutenant Crystal Lancaster in the DC jail. And I immediately, I know who my husband is inside and out. We've been together for 14 years, never has had a strike on his record, never been in trouble before. And I'm like, what is going on here? This just doesn't sound right. And I was informed that he went out in the morning to get his morning medication. He was 25 feet from his cell to the medication cart. And so he did not have a mask on. And in, in talking about that, when, when you're in jail and you take medication, you have to prove to the officer that you took your medication right there. So you're not gonna have a mask on anyway. He walked over to the medication cart to get his meds and Lieutenant Lancaster yelled at him for not wearing a mask and uh, sprayed him with OC spray. So what we know pepper spray as, OC spray is much more lethal. And so she sprayed him with OC spray, then told the um, correctional officer that was watching the pod to handcuff him. When they handcuffed him, she started to assault him and sprayed him again with OC spray directly in his face, about a foot away from his face. Now is that, I mean, this seems to me to be a little bit, well, I mean, is this, a violation of procedure. Someone shows up. Well, you know they're not taking. A, they don't have a mask. They're taking medication, and you don't warn them. You just start blasting them with this spray. Um, I mean, is this allowed? No, it's not allowed. It's actually the funny thing to me is these men that are in there. There's 27 of them in the C2B pod. They are faced with years of imprisonment for using pepper spray on January 6th. And yet you have a lieutenant who knows better, who's worked her way up in the command system that has now done the same assault to one of the inmates who was handcuffed at the time. So it's unprovoked. He wasn't posing any kind of a threat. And, and his violation, if it was not wearing a mask, how does spraying somebody deal with that? You know, it just seems to me to be a, a kind of wanton brutality. But I've heard other reports that some of these you know, jailers are given a kind of green light to abuse the prisoners because they're seen as, you know, politically on the wrong side. So kind of have your way with them. When you, now, how did you find out about this incident? Did you, how do you get information about what's happening inside confinement? So they have um, tablets that they are allowed to use for a few hours a day that we as the family pay for, where they're able to watch podcasts, watch TV. They're allowed to message through a um, an app that it's like texting, but it's through an app. Um, and I had several inmates reach out to me on the tablet and said, hey, we just want to let you know what happened because they have a grievance system, an online grievance system that's broken. So these men know they need to write down what happened immediately before time goes on. So there was three other men that were involved in the incident they came to my husband's aid and they just verbally told uh lieutenant crystal lancaster to stop assaulting my husband and they have now tried to charge them the other three men as well now you say that this uh, woman uh, lancaster has actually been disciplined herself she's been restricted by the prison itself and and in some ways told to stay out of this area what you're actually asking for is hey listen uh, let's see the footage of what happened. Uh, let's see uh, photographic evidence of, of your husband and any kind of injuries he might have sustained. So you're demanding a kind of accountability. Uh, are you hopeful that you're going to get it? 
Um, to be honest with you, it's very hard to deal with the he's a, considered a U.S. Marshal detainee, even though he is in a D.C. jail. And it's very hard to get any type of um, movement with them. But, yes, I am demanding action to, to look into this. I know who my husband is. I have asked for just just very openly say, hey, send over the footage. Like, let's see it. You cannot deny video evidence before you move forward. I want to uh, close. We are going to put up a give, send, go uh, for your husband on the screen. But uh, you also gave, um, Debbie, the give, send, goes for some of the other guys. I'm assuming these are the people who came to the um, the rescue or the defense of your husband. There's Ryan Nichols. His give, send, go is G26NF. Ronnie Sandlin, give, send, go, slash political, I'm sorry, patriot prisoner, slash patriot prisoner, and Bart Shively, or Shively, uh, give, send, go, slash G39XW, G39XW. So um, I want to urge people to help because, I mean, I'm sorry to say, Sarah, this is, these are people who have been, in some ways, I think, done badly by their own side. And there are even many Republicans, I think you'll agree with me on this, you're nodding, who have tried to look the other way because for whatever reason, this is an issue that they are a little scared of. But you strike me as a brave person. Thank you very much for uh, coming on the podcast. And also thank you for hanging in there in what I'm sure is a very tough time. I really appreciate it. Yes, thank you so much for having me on.